my map my india trade and i quickly want to show you guys how i am going to manage this trade or rather how i am managing the trade okay so map my india was a pullback trade as you can see from the daily chart that uh, after a good uptrend with high volumes it then started to pull back and uh, and i entered on this day now you can see why because this day also closed above the previous day high and this was never the case during the whole uptrend okay and this is what is called a pivot right you cannot enter anywhere in the downtrend right so this is rule number one in pullback trading well you can anticipate but it's generally better to you know enter now if you see on a smaller time time frame this was also a an anticipation of sorts and uh, uh, the anticipation was also driven by the fact that you had a reversal chart you know and uh, the the everything was so good looking in this uh, in the sense that you had high volumes in the first uh, this down leg then the second down leg was less high volume then the third down leg was even less high volume so this uh this bounce was pretty much uh, uh ready right and that's why i entered on the break of this three tight candles on on bullish uh tight candles right so on this bullish candle this was the entry around 1962 or so uh, i got an entry and uh, the my stop loss was very low basically somewhere 1930s and uh, i was i was basically on the 2% less than 2% was the stop loss so i could actually have a very large size on this and still have the have the risk on the total portfolio uh, small uh, below one percent right um, so now so so if you then see right now the reward in this trade is already 4x you know uh, four times the the risk so one way uh, how I have uh, managed the trade is that one i have two stop losses one below this um one below just below this at around 1978 uh the 50% and the other 50% is just below this and i am and i am uh carrying still uh, everything uh, I'm hopeful that you know this guy will break out tomorrow again and and go to fresh uh, highs because this pullback was again orderly and then we have a bounce on high volumes right and even if the bounce doesn't come immediately uh, I believe that there will be some sort of a volatility contraction just like the ones we had here uh, and and it is going to go higher and so my risk management in here would be very strict in the sense that i will not be uh, willing to give back much in the mark from the market so right now i will definitely have at least 4.5 percent even if my this stops is triggered and the rest just above break even so i will not lose anything uh, whereas if the new highs come then this 50 percent will also be shifted here and I will see if I get any pivot here to shift this 50% uh, uh, even uh, above. So that's the kind of aggressive trailing uh, I intend to do. Um, and there are several. Uh, this this is a trend line which I am keenly watching, and uh, things should play out uh, near this. So. So this is the only trade I am uh, having and uh, it has been working out really well till now. A uh, couple of things which is again very good for how the price action has panned out here is that 
the VWAP, the, it lies very easily across the VWAP from the previous high, okay. And uh, when, when after the breakout, I mean, this is basically the actual breakout uh, above the, you know, a key pivot, uh, pivot high. And after this breakout, the retest is also complete and there is also a bounce. So looking really good. Um, so that was a quick video, guys.